This week, we celebrated Veterans Day, a time to honor and recognize all the men and women who have sacrificed a great deal to secure the freedom we enjoy today. So this week, we're honoring our veterans with a special Twyla Boost. Retired U.S. Army Ranger John Jackson served six combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. When he returned home, Jackson desperately searched for ways to cope with his post-traumatic stress disorder. Through agriculture, he found hope and comfort on the farm. Overseas, when we're at war, um, we have to be emotionless. You can't have any emotion. Sure, we cry and we share a moment. Um, we share our rage, we share our frustrations, but they're not long lived. They have to, they have to be checked at the door um, and we have to get back on to the business of capturing and killing people. Unfortunately, the more people you lose, the better you become at doing that. And the better you become at doing that, the more you feel yourself drift away from who you used to be. When you come back home, <laughs> that's when we had the problems. I still have problems with uh, connecting. I still feel uh, withdrawn at times. Um, those are issues that my wife and I are, and our family are working um, together. But the amazing thing is, is that this farm has somehow is starting to build a bridge between my family or myself back to my family by me taking care of the hogs, uh, taking care of the animals, taking care of you know this farm. There's a part of me now that cares again. I decided that if I'm gonna take care of myself, I need to create a space. Absent from the VA, absent from the bureaucracy and red tape of, of DC, and create a space that's gonna take care of veterans like me. And that's why I came up with this whole concept of my nonprofit, Stag Vets, which created the first um, acute warrior transition center, Comfort Farms, where we are today. And Comfort Farms is solely for uh, veterans as a crisis intervention uh, place that uses agriculture as a way to condition vets back to um, their new normal. I had to tie in a service component to it because veterans want to serve. We serve once, uh, we, oh, we, serve, we want to serve again. And there's no greater way to serve our community than serving through our food system. To learn more about Jackson's Comfort Farm, visit our website at twilighttv.org. That does it for this edition of Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when we'll bring you a tasty episode to get you ready for Thanksgiving. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online at twilighttv.org and be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find all of these videos and more on our YouTube page, so be sure to subscribe to us there as well. Turn on the notifications. For all of us here at Twyla, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week.